Hi, I'm Chris Leone, and you're watching the U.S. Race Report video channel. 2011 was a season to forget for Greg Biffle, as the Roush Fenway racing driver failed to score any victories and finished a disappointing 16th in Sprint Cup Series points. This year, he's determined to put those memories behind him, and a hot start has him at the front of the pack. Now, the question on everybody's mind is, can anybody catch the Biff? Biffle opened the season with a third place finish in the Daytona 500, helping push teammate Matt Kenseth to the victory. Two more third place finishes at Phoenix and Las Vegas enabled him to take the points lead, and to follow it up, he scored the pole at Bristol where he led the first 41 laps. So far, the only lap Biffle has failed to complete all season was at Martinsville, and even there, he was the first driver one lap down. The last time Biffle was this consistently strong was all the way back in 2005. That year, he won a series-high six races and finished a career-best second in points. But unlike that year, where he finished 25th or worse in two of his first seven starts, Biffle hasn't finished any worse than 13th thus far this year. But until Saturday night, the first win of the season eluded the Vancouver, Washington native. Starting third at the Texas Motor Speedway, he first took the lead on lap 32, trading the point with Martin Truex Jr. for much of the early going. On lap 304, he took the lead from Jimmy Johnson for the final time, and as Johnson scraped the wall trying to run him down, Biffle won by a margin of over three seconds, breaking a 49-race winless drought dating back to October 2010 at Kansas, coincidentally the next track on the schedule. Things look promising for the near future as well, as Biffle has strong records at three of the next four tracks on the schedule. He's taken two wins apiece at Kansas and Darlington. Meanwhile, he has four finishes of sixth or better at Richmond, two of which came in that breakout 2005 year.